Hey guys, I'm Stephanie. If you've never worked with fondant before, it can seem a little bit intimidating, but don't worry, I have the perfect project for you. Not only is this fox cake adorable, but it is also the perfect project to get your feet wet when working with fondant. So to begin, I'm gonna color some white fondant orange. I'm gonna use the creamy peach and copper gel colors to get the shade of orange I'm looking for. When coloring your fondant, it's best to use gloves to keep your hands nice and clean. When you're done coloring your fondant, you can use these patterns that you can find on wilton.com to cut out the details of the little fox. So I'm gonna start with my orange fondant and I'm gonna roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick. So you wanna make sure you do this step for all the pieces we're gonna cut out. You wanna make sure you do it about two days in advance. I'm gonna lay my pattern on top of my fondant. And I'm gonna use one of my hands to keep the pattern still and I'm gonna use my other hand to cut out the fondant. When you're done cutting out your pieces, go ahead and place them on a cake board that's been dusted with cornstarch. Next, we're gonna cut out his tail and his ears. For this, you're gonna need your orange fondant and you're gonna roll it out to 1 8 of an inch thick so these guide rings come in real handy. Next, roll out some white fondant 1 8 of an inch thick. We're gonna cut out his eyes. Now remember when you do his eyes to do the reverse side of the pattern for the second eye, the detail of his tail and his little belly. To cut out the highlights of his eyes, use the small part of a tip 12. To cut out the detail for his tail, we're gonna use the pattern and cut out the full pattern in white, and then in the middle of the tail, we're gonna cut two triangles to give us a little tip of the tail. We're gonna cut out his pupils and his nose using black fondant. Now these little four ounce packages of colored fondant are perfect for this. This way I don't have to color black fondant just for the small amount. So I'm just gonna need a little bit of this. Use a round cutter to cut out his pupils and an oval cutter to cut out his nose. Now that all our pieces are gonna cut out, we're gonna let them sit for two days. Make sure you wrap up your orange fondant in plastic wrap because we're gonna use it to cover our cake. Now the cake I have right here is a six by six square inch cake and it's two inches high. So I wanna make sure I roll out my fondant to be at least six inches wide and be able to cover the two inches on both sides. So I'm looking for, and I wanna give myself some slack, so I wanna roll it to at least 12 inches all the way around. Once your fondant is rolled out, use your roller to help pick it up. All right, and then we're gonna drape it across our cake. You're gonna use the palm of your hand or fondant smoother if you have one, and just smooth out the sides. Use a fondant trimmer and remove the extra fondant around the bottom. Next, let's assemble our fox. So we're gonna start with his face. I'm gonna put a little bit of piping gel on the back to adhere it, place it at the top. Next, his little belly, and then his eyes, his eyes with his pupils, and then finish off his eyes with the highlights of his eyes, and then his little bitty nose. I'm gonna slide his tail a little bit under the cake, and then for the detail of his tail, and place that on top of his tail at the end. Brush the back of the ear with a little bit of piping gel. Place the lollipop stick on top. I'm gonna use a little bit of my leftover orange fondant to help keep it in place. Place it in the top of the cake. So if you've never worked with fondant before, this is a great project for you to start off with. And if you're not feeling the fox cake, we have instructions on wilton.com for a hedgehog, a raccoon, or an owl. So in the comments below, tell me what animal you would like to make. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel to access all of our videos. I'm Stephanie from Wilton, thanks for watching.